if x and y are greater than zero, is x equal to one? So if we are trying to prove insufficiency here, we want to come up with at least two possible values for x, where one of them is one and one of them is anything else. So statement one says x over y is equal to one. And so both the numbers have to be positive. Uh, okay, so let's see. So when is this going to be true? Well, uh, the only time that the only way you can divide one number by another number and get one is if those two numbers are equal to each other. So x and y, so this could be a four over four. Uh, and this would be a no to our question. And so now instead of just coming up with any random values, x and y can be, we got to be asking ourselves, well, can it be one? And it certainly can be because one over one is also equal to one. So this would be a yes, insufficient. X times Y is equal to one. So what does this mean? So this means X and Y are reciprocal, uh, reciprocals of each other. So for example, uh, remember X and Y, they don't have to be integers. So X can be five and Y can be one fifth. So this would be a no because x is not equal to one. Uh, but remember, so one is the reciprocal of one. So one times one would also work. So we have a yes here. Uh, so this statement is insufficient. So now, together, what do we know? So in statement one, we know x is equal to y. From statement two, we know x, y is equal to one. So the only way we can get uh, multiply two of the same number to get a value of one would be if it's one times one. So together, it is sufficient to say x and y are both equal to one, so c.